What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs, day number 1496, coming at you with another brand new video. Hope you're all doing fantastic out there. Ladies and gentlemen, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job and all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, and let's jump into the email, Triple Lindy Thornton Mellon style. So this here comes from Steven, and this is what he had to say about this frustrating delivery, and let me know if you can relate. Hey Pete, I had the most frustrating delivery ever this past week. I picked up the order to the restaurant, no problem. I get to the diner's apartment complex. There's a security gate that you need to enter a pin code to get in. Oh, don't we love these? A diner did not leave the pin code in the instructions, of course. I called the diner, texted the diner, and the diner never responded to me, of course. I waited a couple of minutes and then called driver services. This is where the frustration begins. The service rep could not understand what I was trying to tell them about trying to contact the diner to get an entry code, but there was no answer from the diner. Uh, took driver services 10 minutes to understand this. Then driver services called. The same thing. No answer. They told me to wait five more minutes and then mark the delivery as completed. Mind you, the diner has not received the food. I then proceeded to ask driver services to send me a text stating what they had told me to do just to cover myself. They said they couldn't do that. All they gave me was a ticket number. If I had a hair, I would have pulled it out. Has this ever happened to you? This is on Grubhub, by the way. Let me tell you, Stephen, I've, I've done my fair share of deliveries to uh, apartment complexes where you need the gate code or just an apartment building where you need a code or something or you need to be buzzed in and the diner is not responding for whatever reason. A lot of times it's like they jumped in the shower or uh, they, you know, left their phone in another room or they fell asleep or something. And this gets incredibly frustrating. So calling Grubhub Driver Care, you did the right thing. You did pretty much everything you could do from your end. So it, it's really, you did everything right. Let's put it that way, okay? And the fact that you called and let them know what's going on, they're supposed to put a note on the account or on your account or on that order saying that the driver called and everything like that. Whenever you contact Grubhub Driver Care, that's what they're supposed to do. Anytime I've ever called and spoke to an agent, they always say, oh, all right, we'll notate the order or notate the account that, that you called, this and that. And I've never really had a problem. Um, you know, it just, it, it amazes me that customers will go to such great lengths to, you know, put it in order, but yet not be available to receive the order. You know what I mean? Like that, that's the thing. It's just, it's incredibly idiotic and it just doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? Like if you know you've ordered something that's coming in the next 25, 30 minutes, make sure you're available to receive that order. And especially because you're spending damn good money using these services, so whether you tipped or you didn't, you still have to pay all the fees, the taxes and all that stuff. And then especially like on DoorDash and Uber Eats, or it's really, yeah, it's DoorDash and Uber Eats. Like when it gets busier, they charge you more for the customer. You know what I mean? For like demand purposes. So Yes, I've dealt with these situations and I handled it basically the exact same way as you. You try and reach the customer first through call and text, then you have to reach out to driver care. It's the only way to to really handle it, you know, and you did it right. There are some people that just would have said the hell with it and like canceled the order or reassigned it and kept the food, you know what I mean? Don't ever take that, you know, uh, don't, don't ever try and handle it yourself because that's just asking for trouble. Now, I know you might say, well, Pete, we're independent contractors. We're, we're our own boss. That's true in many ways. 
But when you try and handle something like this on your own completely without reaching out to anybody, you're asking for trouble. Just just trust me. I've been in this game for almost five years now, four and a half years at this point. So trust me. So with that being said, guys, if you guys ever have a question, a topic, a story, an article, anything you want to share with me, send me an email, paid to drive stories at gmail.com. It's the best way to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you guys can message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below. Definitely uh, go check that out. And anyone who signs up as a patron is my way of saying thank you as I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. So I'm going to do that right now. When you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got John Birchfield, Angela Counts McCarty, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Jimmy Santiago, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Laura Love, Tulsa Todd, Agus, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Kasten, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Tom Perry, Brian Richardson, Candace Mitchell, Jenny Thomas, Joyce Hine, LaDonna Roten, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to every single one of the patrons out there. If you guys want to sign up, links down below in the description of the pin top comment. Who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be one of you. Let's find out. And I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on their gas with the free gas app called Get Upside. That link is down below in the description. Just scroll down the page uh, where it says get the free gas app. You click on that link. And then from there, what you got to do is uh, it'll tell you how to download it and install it on whatever kind of phone or tablet you have. And then from there, uh, what you do is you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it today, everybody. Really appreciate that. And of course, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, just like this, go to paytodrivestore.com. Links down below in the description of the pin top comment. We've got lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day. Paytodrivestore.com is the place for you to go get some stuff. So check that out. And if you made it to the end of this video, leave a comment saying end 223, E-N-D 223. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications. So you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, hit that like button if you haven't yet. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And just leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D. Load up those comments. So I want to see all those liked comments if you can. And uh, that's that. So until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Pay to Drive and Pay to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody. Later.